Yo guys, now again from Phantom Production. I'm here with a tutorial for you guys. I want to show you on how I mix this poorly recorded vocal. This is a project that was sent to me and I couldn't do anything because the person that sent it, they have already done their full take and there was nothing I can do about it again. So I had to mix the vocal. Now let me switch off the effects that I have here and let's listen to the vocal without any effect so let's go remember uh in this tutorial we are using just stack plugins in fs studio guys let's listen the raw then we'll go with the mix version yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i'm your boy Kujos. so guys that's the raw version without any process done there so i've removed all the effects that i applied let's solo the vocal and listen to it now when you hear me saying it's a poorly recorded vocal because this is how it was sent to me uh let's listen yeah 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 I'm so now you can hear that background noise and uh, when we look into metal here yeah now yeah 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 i'm your boy just you can hear and see how the vocal is really painful in the ear and uh, the recording wasn't properly managed that's why you hear me a lot of time i would say that's a poorly recorded vocal so what i would do next uh with the project is to just uh as you can see in the mix section i told you guys that we'll be using just ever to do stack plugins so first thing we have to do when you have a vocal like this is to try to denoise it or, or try to get the vocal so you can have a little clarity on it uh, let's go with the process now what i did first was to apply gate now uh what's the apply gate so in the apply the gate now what i used was the fruit limiter fruit limiter has a section here which is the gate function so if you don't really understand how to use your gate or you are finding difficulties to use a gate what you need to do is just to go in here just go in and look for the gate preset and you use it like that so that's the gate so the next thing i did was just to apply it tune in to the fs to the stack or tune is picture so i searched for the key and i i discovered that the key was b major so i just applied then kept the return speed here on uh, fast now i didn't push it too much for me not to have a robotic sound uh, after the picture what i did was uh, to apply eq and what i did with this eq was just to do just a chord a chord with it so the first eq i applied here was a roll off around the high pass section here roll off here around this low section about eight hertz about uh yeah 83 hertz here then i did all this drastic chord now you can see this drastic chord most of the time i don't do such drastic cut in my mixes when i when i'm using equalizer now most of my uh, gain reduction that i do most of the time you will see how I'll, I'll do a 3 db cut higher should be five i don't exceed that limit now uh since this vocal was really was really bad and painful in my ear that's why you see me doing all this drastic cut here the next thing i did after the eq was just to apply the compressor i had to compress the vocal to maintain the dynamics so guys that was it and the next step was just to use uh, a sound with those uh, i used it as a saturator you know sound with those are is oh uh, is good for that so sound with those are does not have a lot of knob that you tweak and tweak you just have four types of saturation that you can get from it so so let's listen with this sound with those are yeah 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 i'm your boy Kujo. this is just the first type of uh, the first type of saturation so let's listen with this with the with the b type yeah 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 listen with the c yeah 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 now i've really crank it yeah that's the type so i've really crank it up to see but now you mix to test I since I, I went through the process and I decided to go with A, I decided to go with uh, this amount. 
you wouldn't want to do much then after that what i did again after the sound got those i applied flanger because i wanted a little kind of movement so i applied just a little so guys getting done with the flanger i decided to do as a vocal now fs studio does not have a, a single vst or a plugin that is meant for dsc so i did a research go through the, the effects and i couldn't find any any dsc so what i did was just to get the preset in maximus which is for dsc and so this is a dsc preset you can just select your your band the type you want and you just select and listen if it's oh it's not giving you a good job you can bring out this take down the frequency so now it's the dsc is affecting just this particular frequency so the next thing was using a reverb so i've just sent this vocal into this reverb uh so reverb 2 from fs studio i increase the size or the room size then i increase the wetness remove the dry because we don't need it and i did a low cut here and a high cut a little bit so and now i also did a 15 milli circuit of pre-delay here why did i do that i did it because i want my reverb to to be on time with the beat guys so that's what i did then the decay time i let it at uh, you can see the zero uh, 0 0.9 milli second did a calculation so when you're calculating your delay when you want to do your delay let's say your delay type is same as your delay like when you want to do your delay let's say pre-delay on your reverb you just got to do 60,000 you divide it by your bpm oh that's quite a no delay then you can break it down you do uh when you want to do six uh eight node delay you break it down divided by two just to continue doing it and do a test and see where it works well for you then after that i still applied another eq because i was not satisfied with the the one i did on the reverb so i just did this brought down the, the highs and uh, boost this frequency around 3k here to bring forth presence to the reverb and now mind you the amount of reverb that you applied who goes with the with other instruments and you will know the amount you can apply it so after doing that i still i did the uh, delay sent i inserted two delay from fs studio this is delay two from fs studio or uh, this one is an eight node delay and i pan it left 60 percent then i did a uh, uh, quite a uh, half node delay here here i have no delay and i pan it 70 percent to the right then in the overall section i eq'd it to give it a different tune guys so this tune i was trying to go for a radio effect here so the delay will not will not compete with the original vocal guys that's it that's pretty everything that i've done okay guys so that's what we've done overall uh let's get another section and try to and listen to it with a bait they mind you you can go in now and adjust the and adjust the amount of reverb you want amount of delay you want with the other with the other instrument playing guys guys let's let's just listen with everything pretty as much as i have done trying my best to fix the bad recorded vocal most of the time when i i do advise or uh, uh, producers when you want to record set your recording chain very well and make sure you don't clip now let's listen to the non mixed fashion. I don't see my beautiful mama when she pass the boys and they are lying. Girl, now you they make me the high pass. Oh my girl, I give you my heart. Oh, give me love, make I love, girl. Give me chop, make I chop, baby. I prove my love to you. Okay, guys, so let's do another. Let's see the comparison with the mixed fashion. I don't see my beautiful mama when she passed the boys and they are lying. Girl, now you they make me the high pass. Oh my girl, I give you my heart. Oh, give me love, make I love, girl. Give me chop, make I chop, baby. I prove my love to you, Nana. Give me love, make I love. Oh, my new guys, oh, my new guys, my new guys. That's 
how I mix my vocal, especially bad, bad recorded vocal in FS Studio. Now, if I had to go through and listen, or measure the amount of reverb I want to apply, or that of delay, if the vocal is too painful in my ear, I go here and reduce this SS here. That's how I do with my stack plugin. Okay, guys, that is it. Thanks. If you're new to the channel, guys, please do well, subscribe to the channel, and leave a like, and also uh, hit the notification bell, guys. So when I drop a video you will get to be notified and you will enjoy the amazing content that i'll be uploading for you guys thanks for watching